Going into business for myself this year is probably like the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. You know, I just get to set my own hours, set my own pace for all my artwork, and uh, you know, it's been it's been good so far. I've done a lot of large things, stuff that I feel like I'm in over my head when I start it, but then when I complete it, it's like, wow, I really knocked that out quick. Morristown's a cool little town. I went to Rutgers, so I feel like I was up here every other weekend just meeting up with friends, hanging out, bar hopping. It's got a small town vibe, but its restaurant scene is really thriving. Places like the Pancake House and Urban Table are my favorites. Everything is centered around the historic park called The Green. It's kind of crazy I'm out here a few years later, you know, painting right on Speedwell Ave. The support of my family and friends with the transition into being a full-time artist has been, like, amazing. So, I'm super thankful for that and, uh, you know, just keeping a positive forward momentum and just being able to, you know, generate work that I enjoy and that the client enjoys. The Morristown mural was perfect for the project. I, it was a new collection of letters I had to deal with and figure out. Um, I usually have the same styles that I play with, like the, the border droplets or the broken cracked letter or the beveled letter. I'd say stay true to what you enjoy painting. Don't try to mimic someone else. Don't try to bite other people or copy other people's work. Always bring it down to what you enjoy, otherwise it's pointless. Hey, I'm Gloss Black. I'm here in Morristown painting a mural for Boost Mobile. Where are you at?